wizard, what do you see? As you twist the tiles beneath our feet Hi guys, welcome to my first ever video of Redmi Note 3 and in today's video we are going to be installing Lineage OS Android 7.1.1 Nougat on this Redmi Note 3. This is a Snapdragon version, 2 gigs of RAM. So the prerequisites over here are the top recovery and unlocked bootloader which is necessary and uh, uh, in order if you have installed the top recovery already, just hold down your volume up and power in order to boot into the top recovery as you can see there is the me logo here you are in your top recovery go to the mount system plus just mount everything go to wipe advanced wipe dalvi cache system internal storage and micro sd card are not required just wipe to wipe go to install search where you are uh, downloaded the rom first of all select the rom add more zips then select your kernel now a uh, custom kernel is required for this rom to boot so the best kernel will be linked in the description right now i'm using the radon for the kinzo which is the redmi note 3 and now just flash the gfs now for gfs you can go from full to down till pico don't like use stock or super uh, you will not get your google play store working cause of some play services issues let this rom to install so the one zip has been installed of the rom here is the kernel aroma installer so just tap on next it depends on what finger type of fingerprint scan you have the first one didn't work for me so i am going with the good x now permissive enforcing just select for permissive it's much better now if you want the double tap to enable like uh, the, if the device is locked you can just double tap on your screen and the device will wake up i would prefer without vibration cause i was missing that uh, a lot in uh, here you have the permission to overclock or use the stock now if you want battery you can stock but we are geeks who needs battery i'm just going for the overclock i'm going also for the gaming config disable hot plug this will uh, reduce the lags but if you enable the hot plug it will uh, preserve your battery much more now i will not recommend to do changes over here just stock colors cause enhanced colors has like a very dark contrast so if you see something gray it would be also appeared as black and it will also like very harsh on your eyes so i will not recommend that too just hit next so I have to unlock and soon after it will also start installing the GF. So after 5 to 8 minutes the ROM has been finally installed. Just swipe to unlock. You can directly reboot the system from here. There it is the Linux OS is now booting and it might take some 10 to 15 minutes in order to optimize itself. So here it is the Kenzo has been finally booted up the Lineage OS. I know it still says Cyanogen mode the dev developers are still working with their logos. Here it is Wi-Fi is all up and running. So selecting the uh, second one option doesn't give like an option to use your fingerprint scanner I guess cause the first one they gave it the option but my fingerprint scanner was not working so it might be an issue right now. Let's just go for the google now launcher and there it is lineage os on your redmi note 3 let's just go to the settings as you can see you can use your fingerprint as uh, it says over here but let's just try one more time. No, the fingerprint scanner is not working on both of the modes. I have checked. Nope, nothing is working. Let's just go down. As you can see, Android 7.1.1 Nougat, the latest version. Let's just unlock the Easter egg. Add it over here. As you can see, the new drop down menu notification banner. And the Redmi Note 3 really lo looks very beautiful uh, when it uh, runs <laughs> anything other than the My UI. Let's just add the Easter egg over here from just like that. Empty dish. Let's just add a trait. It's just a ripoff of Pokemon Go. Now you can just tap on the build number. Go to the developer option because the usb debugging is uh, disabled but you might need it in the future as you can see you can add root access from here no need for super seo or anything om unlock is already enabled pretty good thing now you can always go to the display live display and adjust your colors i really like this feature of cyanogen mode you can adjust every single bit of your color right now it's in a condensed mode but it looks like nexus 6p in a nutshell but you can always revert it back to one step larger and it will go its UI a bit larger and it will just turn itself into normal one like you had it on the my UI everything is much bigger right now as you can see which fits for this display but I don't like it I enjoy much more content in one screen like that and also it makes the screen feel much larger we can display and let me just show you the double tap to wake which we selected in the kernel there it is you can just double tap to wake it as you can see I have a 2 gig of RAM and average use is 50% with a pretty crap ton of apps actually not like a Facebook but Facebook and WhatsApp 
also will slow the device down so you you can expect around 800 to 900 mb and yes i'm going to use this as my daily driver because my mom hits my ui and uh, she can actually use stock android so i'm going to use this a lot as you can see you can easily customize your phone through here inside the icon i like that but probably next to icon icon portrait you can also adjust show weather over here pretty cool stuff now you can also go to the buttons and add stuff over here uh, for example like for example if you want the google assistant you can just download the app get assistant and go over here home button long press and uh, search assistant so it will now allow yeah, google assistant by default it's not enabled it's now on tap you get the audio effects very nice equalizer actually camera is working so the developer says uh, he has uh, like enabled the 4k but the 4k is not working for me at least it doesn't work on some sensors as you can see 4k uhd is now enabled and disable stabilization let's just try to record as you can see it doesn't record but if you try to record full HD, it's still not working. <laughs> so the developers are still trying to fix this wrong. Let's go back to the camera mode. Pretty good Snapdragon camera has a shit ton of features as you can see over here. Very nice app. As you can see, the app opening times are very good. The ROM is very fast and fluid. And due to the overclock, this phone can easily get above scores than iPhone 6 like 83,000 in and to do benchmark, which is really good for a 10,000 rupee device. It's just amazing. Definitely awesome work by the Xiaomi's developers. Developers. So guys, thanks for watching. This was a video on how to install Lineage OS on your Redmi Note 3. Hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. Peace.